Hello friends, this video on solid states part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next question is classify each of the following as either P type or N type semiconductor. The first is germanium doped with indium. So please note here germanium is the main element and germanium is belonging to group 14. Right? And indium belongs to group 13. So in 14, you are doping with something less. If you are doping with something less, that means positive holes will be created. We have seen that. That means it will be P type. Please focus here that this is my main element, germanium here. Let's see this boron doped with silicon. Please pay attention here, little confusing. So boron is doped with silicon. Here boron is the main element. Boron is the main element. And this boron belongs to group 13. And silicon is the impurity. Right? This is my impurity. In normal case, we have silicon as the element and boron as the impurity. But in this question, it is asked that boron is the main element, silicon is the impurity and this is group 14. So, in group 13, I am doping with the higher element. Obviously, we will have more, what? Electrons, free electrons, right? We don't have holes here, we have free electrons here. So, it will be n-type. Because it has extra electrons. So, it will be n-type semiconductor. Please note, here silicon is not my main element, here boron is my main element again, and silicon is an impurity. Since boron is the main element and in doping with silicon, which is just an impurity and which is a, the higher group, will have more free electrons. And so it will be n-type. Gold with atomic radius given, which is slice in a face center. This is my face center. What is the length of side wall? So it is pretty easy actually, some radius is given, R is given, I have to find this A. R is given 0.144 nanometer. A is what? We know this relation A is equal to 2 root 2 R, this we have derived. If you don't know, you can just watch my previous videos, I have explained this, how it is. Just put the values here and get the answer. That is 0 0.407 nanometer. Correct? So this edge length is 0 0.407 nanometer. In terms of band theory, what is the difference between conductor and insulator, conductor and semiconductor? So if you see, this is my conductor. The valence band, conduction band overlaps. This is my uh, semiconductor. The valence band and conduction band, the difference is less, but less than 3 electron volt. And this is my insulator. The valence band conduction band difference is very high, thus the electrons are not able to jump in. Here, out of let's suppose three electrons or four electrons, one will jump in. And here, since it is overlapping, so all the electrons will jump in. And thus it will be conductor. Aluminium crystallized into cubic closed pack structure. Its metallic radius is 125 picometer. What is the length of its sides? And how many units are there in one centimeter cube of aluminium? So let's draw this close cubic structure. So the radius is given. This radius is given 125 picometer. First is what is the length of the side? See for that we'll just use the formula A is equal to 2 root 2 R. Thus we have used in the last question. That is nothing but 2 into root 2 and R is what? 125 picometer. You solve this you get 350, 3.55 picometer. Want to approximate, this is 354 picometer. So that is my length of the edge. One part done. Next is, how many unit cells are there in one gram, one centimeter cube of aluminum? So first thing is, you have to find, I mean, it is given that one centimeter cube of aluminum you have and how many cells are there? Since my length of the edge is there, I can find the volume of this cell. Total volume is given of some n number of cells. I can easily find the number of cells, right? Because if you divide this value by uh, the volume of one cell, you'll get the number of cells. See, n, let's suppose there are n number of cells into volume of one cell is equal to volume of 
all cells combined. Correct. So let's suppose n is what you define. Volume of one cell is a cube. This is I know 354 picometer. Convert this into centimeter because this is in centimeter here. And this is equal to volume of all cells one centimeter. Right? Units are same. You want to solve n is nothing but 1 by 354 into 10 to the power minus 10 q. You solve this, you get 2.27 into 10 to the power 22. That is the number of unit cells I have in 1 centimeter cube of aluminium. Okay. The next question. If sodium chloride is doped with 10 to the power minus 3 moles of SrCl2, what is the concentration of cation vacancies? So I have my sodium chloride and this Sr plus 2 is used to dope it. Right? So I have got this holes now. So it is asking for what is the concentration of cation vacancy. Correct. So if you see one mole of uh, it is 10 to the power minus 3 mole percentage. Correct. That means 100 moles of NaCl doped with 10 to the power minus 3 moles of SrCl2. This is the meaning of this line. NaCl doped with 10 to the power minus 3 mole percentage of SrCl2 means 100 moles of NaCl you take that is my 100 moles let's suppose i have this is 100 moles in this figure and this is doped with 10 to the power minus 3 moles of srcl2 correct so with that we want to find one mole of nscl let's focus on one mole only that will be doped with how much 10 to the power minus 3 by 100 moles that is nothing but 10 to the power minus 5 moles of srcl2 so 10 to the power minus 5 moles of SRCl2 here is used to dope my 1 mole. So I am assuming this is 1 mole now. Just to simplify. Correct. So the cationic vacancy created by 1 SRCl2 is how much? 1 because we have seen that 1 Sr plus 2 can kick out 2 Na plus. Right? and it will occupy a space of 1 Na plus and 1 will be vacant, right? So that's all we have seen. So for example, this is occupying space of 1 Na plus and 1 is vacant. This is occupying space of 1 Na plus and 1 is vacant. Correct. So 10 to the power minus 5 moles of SrCl2 is how many atoms? First see. So 10 to the power 5 minus moles is what? So 1 mole is equal to 6.023 to the power 23. They have a greater number. So, uh, 10 to the power 5 minus moles of SRCl2 implies in is equal to is nothing but is 10 to the power minus 5 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. These many SR2 plus ions. Correct? And this is nothing but this 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 is ion, this many ions. If this many ions are there, obviously this many ions will create this many holes because we have seen that one SR2 plus ions will create one hole. This, this many ions mean this many holes. Right? And that's what the question is asking. How many cationic vacancy will be created? Correct? So one mole of NaCl will have this many cationic vacancy. That is nothing but 6.022 into 10 to the power 18. Correct. So these many cations we can see will be created. Correct. So the question says 100 moles of NaCl is doped with this many moles of SrCl2. One mole of NaCl is doped with 10 to the power 5 minus moles of SrCl2. Correct. So what is the concentration of cation we can see? So in one mole of NaCl these many 10 to the power minus 5 mole of SRCl2 is used. 10 to the power 5 minus SRCl2 is nothing but 6.022 into 10 to the power 8 SR plus 2 ions. And 
and these many ions means nothing but these many holes because one SR2 plus ions create one hole. That means these many cation vacancy will be created in one mole of NaCl. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.